teams. The officials tonight are from East Germany, the referee Volker Roth, and also two East German linesmen. Spain will play in red shirts and blue shorts. England in their customary white. And first, the national anthems. supporters in the crowd valiantly singing on and applause let it be noted from the Spanish crowd not the booze and whistles we get from Wembley and now the Spanish national anthem The huge stadium here that holds some 90,000, but in fact is only half full. It's going out live here in Spain. Here are the two sides. Spain with a very much experimental side. Strangely, only one player from Barcelona, their defender Migueli, and only one from Real Madrid, the temperamental Juanito, who was sent off in the last minute of Real Madrid's game on Sunday. England, as you probably saw in your papers this morning, no Trevor Brooking. No Terry McDermott in midfield and no Laurie Cunningham, which caused great disappointment here. But a side that I think looks capable enough, and if Francis Keegan and Woodcock hit form up front, well, it could be quite a night. The England substitutes, Clements, Brooking, McDermott and Cunningham, and three can be chosen. The referee, Volker Roth of East Germany. And as well as going out live on television here in Spain, it's also going live in Belgium and Italy, the two nations in England's group, and Spain's group for that matter, in the European Championship in Italy this summer. 
and the two captains there, Kevin Keegan and Danny. And it's going to be Spain then who will kick off this international in Barcelona. The first time that England have played uh, Spain in Barcelona. And indeed the English side have a good record against the Spaniards. They've won the last five times they've met. And Spain have only won three times in the 11 times that the two nations have faced each other. Mick Mills for England. A little touch here from Ray Wilkins. Ron Greenwood with only two defeats in uh, 23 games since he took over. Wilkins here with a foraging run. Keegan looking to get a shot in, but the goalkeeper, Arcanada, well behind that one. In fact, critics are saying that this Arcanada in the Spanish goal is just about the best goalkeeper on the continent at the moment. Plays for the league leaders, Real Sociedad. Big Migueli from Barcelona, the local hero, playing it forward, the number three to the number ten, Uria. Migueli again to the sweeper, Alessanko. And Danny caught from behind by Mick Mills. That's a free kick to Spain. Alessanko with it. Number five to Gordilio. And now Juanito of Real Madrid. Gordilio going on, but Watson stopping him and a goal kick. Gordilo, the midfield player. Peter Shelton with the goal kick. Keegan beaten in the air that time, but unfairly by the number 10, Uria. So a free kick to England. Wilkins, Francis, Migueli playing to uh, the sweeper, Alessenko, and back to goalkeeper, Arconada. Danny on the far side. Mills closing in on him and a free kick. The suggestion that the East German referee is going to blow that whistle at frequent intervals in this game, not liking anything that's in the least bit physical. Juanito uh, to take this free kick. Floating it there. But the uh, header by the number nine, Seth Rustegui. The big man and leading scorer with his club, Real Sociedad. I'm not sure whether you're hearing him, but there's the man with the biggest drum in Europe just in front of us. Great jump there. And a lovely ball played by Cordelio, but here England on the break with Kennedy. And now, can Woodcock get in there? Just wide of that Spanish goal, and England so nearly in the lead. A lovely break, though, by Ray Kennedy, playing the ball superbly forward here for Tony Woodcock. Out comes the keeper, and the ball just a fraction wide of what would have been a marvellous opening goal for England with three and a half minutes gone. So, a promising start there for England. Bill Thompson in quickly. Francis, the short touch here again for Koppel. Francis once more, a throw. Thompson. 
towards Keegan. Uriah was right there with him, but Keegan beat him in the air. Koppel, the ball now for Kennedy. Mills making ground away on the left. Woodcock. Got the yard on his man there, but uh, Kennedy. Woodcock again. And a long, long cross that causes Spain no problems. And this is Gordilio. Koppel getting it away. A throw to Spain. Uria. Uria, number 10. Played wide here for the number nine, Satru Stegui, but uh, once again, Phil Thompson was quick. Thompson getting it back again from Wilkins. Kennedy caught in possession there. Phil Neal. Keegan's little flicked header there, but it didn't come off. It's Juanito. Curling one in there, but that'll be uh, too far from the number two, Akuriaga. It's Mills. And a linesman on the far side flagging for the challenge by Mick Mills. A free kick to Spain. And Danny feeling the weight of Mick Mills' challenge. The Spanish captain, number seven on the ball now. Juanito. Uria playing it again to the right back. Uquia. That's a good cross there. And Shelton there in the nick of time for England. That was a good break by Spain. And it's not away yet by any means. Gordilio. Coppel. Finding Francis. Oh, a beautiful piece of play by Trevor Francis. Woodcock wanting it away on the left-hand side there. Francis still going on. Obstructed free kick. Looking very sharp and alive, Trevor Francis. And a free kick for England. Taken by Wilkins for Koppel. That's a good cross towards Kennedy on the far side. Wilkins... Couldn't quite close in on it. It's Saura. Urquiaga, the number two. Migueli. Back to Migueli. The only Barcelona player in the side. Uria. Cordelio getting it back to the... Alessanco. Migueli Alessanko and good careful build up again as it finds Danny on the far side now for Spain and an offside Satru Stegu was offside Header. Francis. Now Wilkins. Woodcock again. And cut out well, though, by the number 10, Uria. Satru Stegui lost the ball, though, to Keegan. And now it's with Koppel again for England. Here's Keegan. Uria watching him so closely, but Keegan getting his cross in all right. And a great shot there was saved, though. Trevor Francis so close to getting that goal for England. A good piece of keeping, in fact. Neil Thompson trying a pot this time over the top. 
two very good strikes there by England. First of all, Keegan doing so well, beating off Uria, getting a little cross in there, Francis following it in, and the keeper did well to get behind it. So in point of fact, England uh, might easily have had two in this opening nine minutes of the game. Gordillo. Alessanko. Elquiago. Danny. It's a very experimental Spanish side. They're quick to point this out, and their results at home haven't been all that good. They've lost to East Germany quite recently, and they lost at home to Yugoslavia. Here's Wilkins. They managed to beat Holland 1-0, though. Cordelio getting into a bit of trouble, and Keegan nearly made it worse for him, but Juanito... Short little pass there to uh, Satru Stegui, the number nine. Big, tall striker who comes from deep. And here's Juanito. Watson's challenge was good and firm. And finds Ray Wilkins. Oh, that's a bad one from Wilkins, though. Straight to Danny. But a poor shot. Mills Woodcock kept it in well there but the whistle yes the linesman had his flag up the ball in fact had just been taken over the byline there by Tony Woodcock Basically just Francis and Woodcock staying up front. Keegan making ground from the midfield. Kennedy also. It's Cordelio then with the throw for Spain. And Thompson intercepting Juanito's thoughts. But here's this number nine, Satru Segu again. And a free kick to uh, Spain. Gordelio. Watson winning it in the air. Francis. Oh, a bad challenge, a free kick. Well, uh, Guiza Sola, the number six showing Francis he was around. A quarter of an hour gone, no score. But England might well in that quarter of an hour have had a couple of goals, and they had one fright when Shilton came to the rescue when Spain might have got in. It's Watson. Koppel intercepting a poor piece of play there by Spain. Wilkins on to Koppel again. The little cross coming in there once more, but it didn't reach Keegan. Watson. Mills. Woodcock. Playing inside again for Mick Mills. And now for Keegan. And a shot there by Francis. And again, the keeper saved well. The crowd all round are on their feet, applauding their keeper, Arconada. A nice dummy there by Keegan. And a good shot well saved here by Francis. So England are getting the openings and getting in their shots. But as yet, they cannot get away past Arconado. But some really nice understanding by England in this opening quarter of an hour as they come forward. And Francis looking so sharp. Mills, Trevor Francis, a little touch with Woodcock. And indeed, Francis and Woodcock combining so well. 
Kennedy. It's Wilkins right in there. Now Woodcock running at his man. Mills getting in there. A late saving challenge. Keegan. Pretty deep. Forward again and a good run forward this time from Coppel. A lot of invention by England in this opening quarter of an hour. But that's a corner. Promising enough start then by England. Being watched tonight by the Italian manager Enzo Berzot and the uh, Belgian manager Guy Tace. So England's corner. Played by Francis there for Koppel. Oh, my word into the side netting. Well, there was a lot of space for him. And it was worth a go. Saura. To Uria. Saura from Valencia. And now here coming England again with Woodcock. On his own and all the way through. Faced only by the keeper. And there it's there! They missed it on the line, and Woodcock has scored! A bad miss on the line by Spain. Look at this for a break. What a great piece of running by Woodcock. Seeing the break and taking it so well. The keeper came out. I thought maybe he played it a little too far forward there. Tucks it under the keeper. The defender comes running in and completely misses the ball under him into the back of the net. And England in the lead with 16 minutes gone. An injury on Tony Woodcock as he collided with the keeper there. And England already beginning to warm up Laurie Cunningham. And the referee telling Fred Street that if Woodcock needs treatment, he's got to come off and get it. Well, that's a good start by England. A, a goal up. And it could have been more. Juanito. Urquiaga, the ball out of play, a throw to England. And it's wrong, Greenwood's also got uh, Trevor Brooking warming up. And it looks like uh, a shin or a calf, maybe, on the right leg that's troubling uh, Tony Woodcock. Phil Neal stopping Gordelio. Guisa Sola, Uria. This uh, more promising looking move being made here by the Spaniards. A little flick through there. And Shilton saves. The final shot was a poor one by Saura. They worked a very good opening there, Spain. That little flick through here to the Valencia man, Saura. But what a weak finishing shot. Easily held there by Peter Shilton. Koppel. Meantime, Woodcock, number 11 in the bottom of the picture, you can see, is back on the field. Keegan, very deep, turning to try and lose the man who's marking him closely so far this evening, Uria. Uria again, playing it inside, Micheli playing it forward, Juanito going past the challenge of Watson, but uh, Phil Neal, or rather uh, Phil Thompson was there. Cordelio, Juanito, challenged swiftly there by Phil Neal. That's an unfair challenge. That's going to be a free kick. It's 
a couple of times Mick Mills has clattered in on the back of an opponent, Danny. Juanito with the free kick. Flicked off an England uh, head, but safely into Shilton's arm. Here's Keegan. Kennedy. Mills played in for Watson. Thompson inviting Phil Neal to go forward. There's a lot of space for him up there as well. And Wilkins has made a break through the middle, but Phil Neal didn't spot him, but he's got Francis in turn for Koppel. Across the face of the goal again, and Spain were all over the place in defence again there. Kennedy playing it inside for Mills. Just look at the space here again. Phil Neal. All the white shirts are forward, and in the end, it's... Uh, Migueli, I think it was, who got it away. Migueli. Wilkins. At the moment, the Spanish crowd haven't much to say for themselves. Mills. Keegan. A little touch through there. And there was a handball right on the edge of that area. That could have been a bit dangerous. A little yard or two further in, and that would have been a penalty. Now let's see what England can do with this. Keegan over the ball. Kennedy coming up as well. Wilkins is right there. The referee insisting on the ball going back the full 10 yards. A little touch there. A blast by Keegan straight at the wall. Back here for Phil Thompson. Everybody except Peter Shilton now in the Spanish half of the field. And again, look at the space here for Neil. And here's Trevor Francis trying to turn it in quickly. But uh, Alessanko putting it behind for the corner. Woodcock moving quite freely again now. Neil, Woodcock, Koppel playing it in first time. Nodded on there once more by Francis. There's Watson right in. Back again, this time for Wilkins. And a goal kick. Well, Spain looks so naive and vulnerable in defence at the moment. Alessanko. And so ponderous as well. Francis able to come back and dispossess him, although the ball then falls to Acquiaga. Well, he gives it away to Keegan. England's throw. Taken by Kennedy. Played in here for Koppel. Not easy for Wilkins, but he still stretched out and found Phil Thompson. That's off the striker, Satru Stiegui. There he is, number nine. Halfway through the first half, and a good 22 and a half minutes for England. Leading by a goal to nil, scored by Tony Woodcock. Here's Stevie Koppel, and an offside against Trevor Francis. Migueli. Uria. Arfiaga. Alessenko. Francis coming back at him. It's Danny. Alessenko. Juanito. And Shilton. It, they thought it was handball by Thompson, but Watson got in there for England. Juanito. 
And on the far side, Akriaga, the fullback. Stopped by Mills. Uria. Goal kick. Well, the man with the biggest drum in Europe has returned, but he's finding it hard going at the moment, rousing the Spanish crowd. And a goal kick to England to be taken by Peter Schilbert. Good jump there by Tony Woodcock. But it's the number six, Guiza Sola. And a throw for England. <laughs> Topple. Bill Thompson to Shilton. Kennedy's header. But apparently using his elbows as he got up. A free kick to Spain. Phil Thompson now for England. Keegan jumping for this one, but it's uh, Gordillo who got the better of him. Paid for Juanito. There's a good run, Gordillo, if he can keep it in, and he can. Oh, he's wrong-footed Phil Neal there, and Koppel slipped as well. Juanito once more. Koppel shadowing him. Had to play it back to Aria. And that was quite easy for Phil Thompson to get away. Wilkins quickly getting in onto that one and tripped, giving England the free kick. Well, that's Kubala we saw through there, the Spanish manager who's not got an awful lot to smile about at the moment. England really took this game by the scruff of its neck in the opening 20 minutes and scored the important goal. They've tended to sit back a little bit since then. But here's Woodcock. The space here again for Wilkins. Not a very good shot, and in fact, uh, I think it was probably Koppel who was offside. But the space that England are getting from these knockdowns is quite incredible. Alessanko and Thompson and Wilkins back to Shilton. Massive kick there by Peter Shilton. Watson. And now Mills. Woodcock made the run towards that, saw that it was too high. It's being picked up here by Alessanko. Uria. Watson. Kennedy in there, finding Dave Watson. And now Thompson. And a foul that time by Koppel. Though frankly, it was 
a genuine attempt to go over the ball. I don't think there was a great deal of malice in it, but the, I don't think the referee could have avoided uh, feet quite as high as that. So it's Alessenko bringing the ball forward again for Spain. Uria. Grisa Sola. Saura. Saura's cross. Shilton's catch. Keegan. Koppel. Watson. Keegan deep and looking for it again. Here's Wilkins. Look at the space again for Wilkins. And arriving late was Keegan. And on the far side was Koppel. He's having a terrific little game, Steve Koppel, tonight. Mills now lifting another one into that Spanish penalty area. The half chance that came Koppel's way really made by Keegan. And here's Keegan again on the ball for England. Played back this time for Trevor Francis. Woodcock. Wilkins. Just chipping it along there. Inch perfect for Keegan. Not sure what uh, the referee's given there, but he's given a throw to Spain with half an hour gone. And England still leading 1-0. Tony Woodcock's goal. Juanito. Uria. Oh, and here's Danny on this left-hand side for the first time in the game. That's a good-looking cross as well. Not it down there. And Phil Thompson in beautifully to the rescue for England. Well-timed piece of defence there by Liverpool's Phil Thompson. Uh, here's Spain again with Guisasola to the number four, Godilio. Danny. Saura. Uria. Urquiaga. And another cross coming in, and Shelton saving that one well from Juanito. Mills on this side now that uh, Danny has come here. Phil Neal to Kevin Keegan. Free kick. And that number 10 has hardly, yeah, I think that look tells a lot because the number 10, uh, Uria, has almost been in Keegan's boots all night. And there was a callous foul from behind by the number six, Guisa Sola on Trevor Francis, another free kick to England. Quickly taken there by Neil. A turn by Woodcock. And Migueli getting a well-timed challenge in there to concede the corner. So, Tony Woodcock, scorer of England's goal with the corner. Kennedy at the near post. But a deeper one for Phil Thompson to come in and power a header in there, but... Uh, just wide of the far post. Well, so far, England having the better of it. One or two interesting little bursts from the Spaniards, though. But here's Kennedy once again for England. Straight to Uria. And now Danny, number seven. Uria. Played on again, but Mills will get to this one. Francis. Kennedy. Mills. And now here comes Spain again. Juanito. And Dave Watson there as Juanito held it just a fraction too long. Ray Wilkins on the ball for England. Francis, walking face. 
And a poor pass there by the Nottingham Forest man. And it's Uria now for Spain. Cordelio. Oh, and a slip. There's just been a little bit of dew on the grass. There's been no rain and no hint of it today. A beautiful sunny day in uh, northern Spain. But just a little bit of dew making that top a little bit tacky and making it difficult maybe once or twice for the players to keep their feet. But not Keegan, it seems. Wilkins playing forward quite a bit tonight. They're trying to give the return pass to Keegan, but failing. And it's a throw to Spain. Danny getting Satrustegui on his way. Satrustegui still for Spain. A little pass here again for Danny. The crowd are wanting a shot in there. They're wanting a penalty there, but they're not going to get it as Thompson turns it back to Shilton. And the shouts and the whistles all round for a penalty. And the referee was not interested. That's where the whistling's coming from. Number eight is Sara. Juanito. Stopped by Watson. Micheli. Watson again. A short pass here for Phil Neal. Woodcock again making a great one away out to his left. And that's the man he's aimed for. And in the end, it had to be Micheli. No, it was the number six, Guisa Solo, who turned that one away for England's corner. Well, Kubala, the Spanish manager, has been criticised for making changes and not getting a settled side together. And at the moment, that is showing in defence. Here's Woodcock again with a corner for England. Keegan with a leap. But uh, nobody at the far post. It's a goal kick. Alessanko. Juanito. Migueli. Migueli again. Well, a poor pass from Migueli straight to Phil Neal. And Woodcock running after everything there. Challenging and beating his man there. Woodcock through again, trying to play the ball inside for Coppola, who'd made so much ground. But Alessanko was there for Spain. Uria, Juanito. A back heel for Uria. Gordilio. Uria. Well, Okuyaga wanted that in front of him. The big Migueli, they call him Tarzan. He's all of six foot three, six foot four. And away that time uh, by Ray Kennedy for a throw to Spain with about seven minutes to go to half-time. It's a good long throw, but also a good big jump by Dave Watson. Uria, got a good left foot, but the accuracy of that pass left something to be desired, and uh, Wilkins was really in there most wholeheartedly. Shaken off that ball, though, by Gordelia. Played in there to Satrustegui. Uriah again. Gordilio. Juanito. Gordilio. Satrustegui waiting in the middle, but he'll wait in vain. A goal kick to England.
Seth Rosagri now. The little ball through for Sarah. But to watch them was there to prevent any sort of shot coming in. And the throw finding Wilkins in a fairly dangerous position, that throw, because Wilkins was being closed down by a couple of Spaniards. But he showed a lot of skill there. A lot of skill there from Keegan for Koppel. Good play by England being applauded by the Spanish crowd. Koppel now. Woodcock. Played again for Francis. Mills supporting behind him. Francis going past his man. Getting to the byline. And Migueli having trouble getting that one away. Kennedy's right in there. And a goal! Another one by England. Stevie Koppel. No, there's... Uh, a pushing down, presumably as Kennedy was jumping, when England had the ball in the net. But my word, there's been so much that's been good about England tonight. Francis again looking so good, just getting to the byline, turning it back. Migueli, a real bad clearance there. There's the header by Francis, and there apparently was the foul as Koppel hooked it into the net. Didn't look a foul. Now Woodcock again. And England playing with so much pace, particularly as they break from midfield and exploiting the gaps that are certainly there in that Spanish defence with five minutes to go now to half-time. Mills for England. Woodcock offside. Uria, very nearly caught in possession by Francis. Luisa Sola. Saura. Cordelia. Saura again. No foul there, there was no foul there. The crowd were howling, but it's a perfectly fair challenge. And here's Keegan again. Wow, there was a foul there, all right. By Cordelia on Keegan. Wilkins already taken it. They're so alive and sharp at the moment, England. Really deserving and hoping that they can get this second goal. Migueli getting that one away. Francis with the throw. Woodcock. Francis and another throw for England. Already taken. Phil Neal. Crossed in there. The keeper's got to come. And Keegan almost got in there. My word, Kevin Keegan holding his head in his hands. That was so near. Just a slightly better touch on the ball there. And he must have beaten the keeper. As it is, it's Spain coming away now. Juanito on the far side. Dinking one into the England penalty area. Thompson up above them all. Saura putting it in there. Danny right in there. And... Uh, well, a linesman was flagging for something there. Whether it was offside or not, I don't know. The referee agrees it's a goal kick. So now it's Koppel. But a really entertaining game, and England at the moment well deserving a one-goal lead, and it could so easily have been one or two more. Cordelio for Spain. Gelly finding uh, Uria. And now Ukiaga. Ukiaga the fullback. Kennedy sticking with him. Good play by Ray Kennedy. Away goes Woodcock. Alessanka's with him, but he's found Wilkins. And now it's Trevor Francis. And the keeper. Well, the keeper himself wasn't sure how he got there because after he'd got the ball, he had to look around and see where it was. A good, incisive break again, though, by England. And here's Uria for Cordelio. It's a throw to Spain. Already taken, and with Cordelio. Juanito. Cordelio. Cordelio with a little cross in there. Too high, though, for Ray Wilkins. But Shilton is going to get there. 
the last minute of the first half. So England coming towards half time now. Well, if not exactly in control, certainly well deserving their one goal. I think most people here will be happier to see another one in the back of the net. Because in their little burst, Spain have just been within an ace of being very dangerous. Juanito now playing the ball back once more. And a good, strong challenge once more by Dave Watson. And an offside, Shilton. Very quick to spot that, though. They've looked aside in the making. There's no doubt about that in this first half, England. As the whistle goes for half time, England leading by one goal to nil as the players come off. The goal scored by Tony Woodcock. It might well have been uh, another one or two. Steve Koppel having had one disallowed, but uh, the goal by Woodcock enough at the moment. We take a short break and then rejoin us again for the second half. I will get started just before the kickoff. Houston. So welcome back to Barcelona. At the start of the second half, England leading by a goal to nil. Scored by Tony Woodcock after 15 minutes. England now having made no substitutions at half-time, but Spain have made two, and they brought on Diego, a midfield player, and Carrasco, who is a local hero, a Barcelona winger. Thompson. And now Koppel. And it's Phil Neal putting it away. And the two players who've been replaced are Juanito, the number 11, and Saura. Diego, number 15. And here's number 10, Uria. No, Uria is still there, the man who's got the marking job on Kevin Keegan. Wilkins. Koppel. 
three substitutes allowed from each side. That's an arrangement that Kubala and Ron Greenwood between them made. And it's with Migueli, the big central defender from Barcelona. Ucriaga. Luisa Sola. And Mills getting in for England. Here's Tony Woodcock. He's made a terrific impression here tonight, Tony Woodcock. And here's Trevor Francis. And Phil Neal coming up fast on the far side. Coming in again towards Francis. Tried to get the header in. Wilkins was jumping in there too. Kennedy would like to get it onto the left foot. Couldn't do so. And it's Carrasca. The long ball forward. And an offside. Which makes that East German linesman very unpopular. And I must say, it looked to me as though Mick Mills had played them onside. Francis. But it was a lovely ball played by Carrasca. And there's a warning there for England. But it's still Francis now for Koppel. And the shot by him well wide. And a goal kick. Diego. Satrustegui. And now Danny. And uh, Danny again with a shot just wide. While England, uh, for once, not being very positive getting that ball away. And Danny's snap shot could so easily have surprised Peter Shilton. As it is, it's a goal kick for England. Koppel beaten in the air. Karaska. Played on for the number four, Gordilio. Beating his man across, coming in. Oh, just wide there, the header from Satru Segui. Annoyed with himself because that's a real clear opening that came Spain's way. And for once, the English marking wasn't all that it should have been. And Spain missed a very good chance of an equaliser there. Well, Spain starting this second half with a little more purpose. Making you wish all the more that England's superiority in the first half had been made to pay with more than that single goal. Shelton quickly off his line, smothering that ball before Carrasco could get there. But there's a bit more bite and invention about uh, Spain in the opening minutes of this second half. Phil Thompson. No, it'll be Trevor Francis. Phil Neal. Keegan off on a run, but Alessenko's there. Played here for Elquiaga. Danny Migueli, the big defender right up there number three and here comes Phil Neal for England oh a bad pass though Alessanka finding Diego finding Erquiaga Danny Erquiaga Watson's challenge Diego again and Thompson there, making the short clearance to Mick Mills. Oh, Mills' feet taken from under him there by Danny. And a free kick. Neil to Thompson. Woodcock. England needing to get back in their rhythm again. I must say, Woodcock was dumped to the ground by a really bad tackle there. Migueli and Keegan. 
It's Mills and Woodcock still hands on his haunches there. He's taken a terrible clattering from a challenge from the back. Thompson. I noticed that Migueli, the man who made it, the number three, going in and apologizing to Woodcock, but that won't help the pain. Here comes Spain again. Danny. Cordelio stopped by Wilkins. Free kick. And a free kick already taken. Kennedy. Woodcock. Keegan. Keegan again. Beautiful skills there. Woodcock now with Keegan up alongside him. And the pass back to Keegan was cut out there by Alessanko, who hits it straight at Phil Thompson. England just needing to calm themselves down a little bit in spite of this Spanish pressure and to get back in the rhythm that looks so convincing in the first half. At the moment, it's Trevor Francis. But now it's Carrasca for Spain. A little flick outside there for Danny. And now England are really stretched to the back. Three against two. Danny playing it across here. And uh, Satru Sectri's uh, shot was blocked there. And England can breathe again as Wilkins bring it forward now for Woodcock. A lovely turn by Tony Woodcock. Oh, that's got to be a free kick. A foul by Gordelio. I get the impression that the referee very quickly has got to stamp on this situation. There have been some tackles flying in in this second half that have been way beyond the law book. Wilkins and Phil Neal taking their time over this kick. Kennedy up at this far post. Played in there, though, for Woodcock. A little touch there, and the cross coming in from Koppel, and that's a corner of Felisenko. Corner taken already. Phil Neal having his cross charge down. Here's Koppel. Neal playing it wide again for Woodcock. Koppel. Now Carrasco. Maria. Carrasco cut out well by Kennedy. Really killed that ball. But it seemed to be bound onto this right touch line and uh, Satru Stegui, here he is, number nine. No doubt the arrival of Carrasco, the young local hero here in Barcelona, has livened things up for Spain. But it's Trevor Francis doing just the same for England. Francis hoping to go around the keeper, but the keeper did well. Good bit of keeping by Arconada. But also a good arresting run again by Trevor Francis. Alessanka. Cordelio. Carrasca. Now Keegan. Wilkins. Thompson. Koppel, been really impressed with Steve Koppel tonight. Wilkins, Koppel again. Well, a foul by Diego, free kick. Well, certainly when we get around to the European Championships in Italy in the summer, the refereeing has got to be a little firmer than we've seen from the East German Herr Rott tonight. Now, England with the free kick. Wilkins looking for a yard by that byline, gets it, but it's Migueli who gets it away. Koppel. Olia. And now Danny. Satru Stegui on the right. Carrasca away on the left. Carrasca trying to go around Phil Neal. And a corner given. 
found out that number 17 has gingered things up a little bit. He's going out there to take the corner now. And they've got uh, Alessanko, the big sweeper up, but they've left Migueli back, who is maybe the biggest man on the field. Keegan didn't get the header in there, and Uriah's shot was woefully wide. Cordelio, Araska, Cordelio, Woodcock, Neil finding Wilkins, Woodcock again. Well, that's got to be a free kick. A blatant piece of obstruction there by Migueli. But certainly the fans of Barcelona were coming up at half-time and shaking their head about Woodcock and saying if only they got him here. But of course he's in Cologne. There's Arconada who's had a really good game for Spain. Beaten just once by Woodcock. And now Phil Neal trying to drive one in there. Mills floating it back in there once more. That's behind for the goal kick. Kennedy, Wilkins guiding it back here for Mills, Woodcock, Watson, in fact there really hasn't been a weakness so far in this England performance, leading Spain by a goal to nil, the goal scored by Tony Woodcock after 15 minutes, Francis, Neil to Trevor Francis. That's another free kick. So Phil Neil with the free kick for England. Dave Watson's up for it at the far post. Aimed, in fact, for Watson and for Kennedy, who came in late. And a goal kick. a good jump Kennedy had a fairly quiet game Kennedy but that's a good pass here for Keegan played for Woodcock oh in fact he well that's terrible now the referee at last a yellow card and about time because Alessanko first of all tried to grab hold of Woodcock as he went by him and then absolutely scythed into him when Woodcock shake, shake, shook off that uh, first challenge a yellow card it had to be, the first of the night. The quarter of an hour of the second half gone. Kennedy with the free kick. Watson up again on the far post. Woodcock and Francis in there too, maybe a little too close to the keeper, though Watson's challenge was a really strong one and uh, not at all liking to the Spanish crowd or to the referee. Free kick. Migueli for Spain Alessanko Danny and Thompson keeping possession, finding his Liverpool teammate Phil Neal back again to Phil Thompson. 
on again to Francis. A little touch here for Koppel. Wilkins. Watson. And Mills. Floated in there for Keegan. A little glancing header, but nobody behind him. Only Migueli. That's off McMills. It's a throw to Spain. Uria. Urquiaga, the number two. Uria. And that's Mills playing it away to where it's safe. throw there and Watson playing it to Kennedy almost lazily Uriah now with the ball and in the end they took far too long about it and the keepers come way out of his goal beyond the penalty area as Francis closed in on him and uh, put it away Koppel and a throw to Spain. Looked a little bit as though they were warming up the local Barcelona player, Olmo. But at the moment, it's Keegan for England. Ah, oh, there was a bobble just as he was thinking about a shot. Kennedy, though, turning it in. And it'll come out for Wilkins. There's a shot by him and a good one too. Tipped away by Arconada. Doesn't often get on the score sheet for England, uh, Ray Wilkins. I remember he got one in Vienna last summer. My word, that was a good shot though. And uh, Arconada tipping that one away. England's corner. Again, a hint that there were gaps opening up in that Spanish defence. Francis now curling it in. And Keegan with a shot kicked away there by Uria. It's with Wilkins again. And offside against Tony Woodcock. And they're going to make a change. Number five, Alessanko, the sweeper, is coming off. And Olmo, who is another defender will be coming on, but they can't yet attract the attention of the referee. Elquiaga. Uria. Elquiaga. Fair cross there. Good jump by Phil Thompson. And plenty of support there, support there for the knockdown. Koppel doing the chasing over on that far side for England. Gordelio with him. Still Stevie Koppel. And a little ball played in here by Trevor Francis. Oh, a brilliant goal for England. Francis the scorer. And Koppel making it superbly. Well, Koppel has been a real hero right the way through this game. But England's two front men, Woodcock and Francis, have been absolutely irresistible with their work and their finishing. And uh, Francis really making the most of that effort to make it 2-0. So the Spaniards make their substitution and England are now two goals to nil in the lead with a really brilliant goal there fashioned by Koppel and finished by Trevor Francis. And I should tell you that uh, Trevor Francis was saying earlier today that he'd had a dream that uh, he and Tony Woodcock, no, it was Tony Woodcock who had the dream, that they would each score. Well, that's the way it's turned out. Mills couldn't keep that one in. Well, this place is buzzing with the brilliance of that goal because it was an amazing charge on that far touchline. Little Koppel, who you could have forgiven him for not chasing it because the ball looked as though it must go out. 
but he not only beat his man and pulled it in, but he found a lovely pass for Francis, and, uh, well, we were in the hands of Spanish television. We didn't see a replay of it here, which is sad because that was really a goal worth replaying. But there's a free kick now for Spain, a little knockdown. Carrasco's in there, and just wide. And Eliza was flagging on this side for an offside in any case. And a free kick. Mills. Kennedy. Watson. And a throw to Spain. Watson, a saving challenge there, but an unfair one in the eyes of the East German referee. The foul on Satru Stegui. Elkiaga. Now, England just need to keep their concentration. They really mustn't let Spain back into this game. Diego on the ball for Spain at the moment, halfway through the second half. And again, the linesman's got his flag up. The referee hasn't seen it. And a great save by Peter Shilton from Gordillo. And uh, Gordillo with that shot. Well, I gather back in England you've been seeing the slow motion replays, which we haven't here in the ground, but I gather that's now been put right for us. So my apologies for that. And the ball is with Danny now. Carrasco. Danny. And what has he given? He's given a corner. A corner to Spain with 20 minutes to go. England leading by 2-0. And Keegan there for England, but beaten. And Carrasca trying a little chip just under the roof of that England net. This fella really has livened things up for Spain, but they're two down. What about that? Shilton might have been in trouble, just too high. So here is Spain again. Elkriaga, Dani. Played back again for Elkriaga. Well, Olmo playing it forward to his Barcelona teammate Carrasca. Uria. Olmo, trying to get things going on that far side, but Kennedy and Keegan will not get to that one. Spain have used all three of their substitutes now. And they have 20 minutes left to make good this two-goal deficit. Kennedy. And now Keegan. Played wide for Phil Neal. Wilkins. Off Carrasco, so that's an England throw. In fact, it'll be a handball off Carrasco. Oh, again taken from behind. Well, 
how the referee can allow a defender to get away with a challenge like that one on Tony Woodcock, I don't know. But it's Cordelio now for Spain. And Danny, his control let him down when that might have been dangerous for England. Now, gets a cross in though. Oh, and a miss kick by Cordelio. One humiliation for the Spanish crowd on top of another. And here's Keegan bringing it away with Uria, the tight marker after him right away. And Keegan whacked to the ground there by Uria. It was an elbow. And you can see Keegan's gesture there, which suggested an elbow and his disgust with it. And, of course, the East German referee. I'm sure that Kevin will be talking German to him about it. Wilkins playing it short for Keegan. A little chip in towards Woodcock. Shaken off his man. There's the cross coming in, and a good save by Arcanada. Carrasca. And now Francis. Still finding Wilkins. It's Koppel. And now Neil, and another bad challenge this time on Francis from behind. Francis is still down and injured as the ball comes in towards Ray Kennedy. Wilkins with a shot, which was only half stopped. And it might come for Kennedy yet. Francis is on his feet again. And Carrasca takes the ball away for Barcelona. Pass Phil Neal. 17 minutes to go. And an obstruction there. And a free kick to Spain. It was an obstruction by Phil Neal, and it deserved the free kick. Correa, Cordelio, Correa. A little chip coming in, Mick Mills getting his header away, Ray Kennedy helping it. Here's Keegan also. Woodcock having it knocked away, though, by Olmo. Now it's Danny. Danny for Spain. And a throw to Spain. Olmo, Acriaga, and a goal kick. Sassola and Laurie Cunningham are beginning to warm up and uh, there's applause not only from the England fans here but from the uh, some of the Spanish fans as well Laurie has made really quite a name for himself with Real Madrid of course Sassola with the throw for Spain. Olmo. Uria. Kegan, Kevin Keegan, in fact, doing what Uria has done to him most of the night, marking him tight and biting quick. Mills. Mills again. Francis. Cross coming in towards Tony Woodcock. Just nodding that a little cushion header here for Kennedy. And that'll come to the Spanish defence. Just a little bit lackadaisical there going forward, England. 
And now they've got to do a bit of defending. Mills sleeping up there. Watson also going for the ball, and it's left Danny. And Mills looks as though he might be injured, but Danny played a loose ball into the middle there. Kennedy finding Mills. Hit on first time, but straight at Uria. Oh, and Koppel might be in trouble, but he wriggled his way out of it. Wilkins to Koppel. Well, the goals have come from Woodcock and Francis, but Koppel tonight has played as well as anybody. Francis again. Whack from behind. Well, he's going to have a few bruises on his ankles and uh, up the backs of his legs, Trevor Francis. And, uh, well, Laurie Cunningham about to come on. Olmo. Long ball forward once more. Flicked on by Danny uh, Shilton right to the edge of his box. Neil for England. Woodcock. Well, he's really made one of the front positions his own tonight. And so too has Francis. Diego playing it forward again, but straight at Trevor Francis. And he's taking him on again, and he's pulled back. That's another yellow card. It can't be anything else, surely. On Diego, quite willfully pulling back Trevor Francis there. And just a talking to and no more. And, well, I leave you to judge for yourself what you thought about that. But I'm bound to say there's Fritz Street wanting, I think, to either make a substitution or come on to see to Francis but certainly the refereeing tonight by the East German has not been of the highest order he's being allowed on to meanwhile Laurie Cunningham continues to warm up and Trevor Francis is the one who's going to come off battered and bruised but my word what a brilliant second goal he scored for England tonight trying to attract the referee's attention in fact Trevor yes he now knows he's got to come off and in fact should also say that the Spanish crowd are generously applauding Trevor Francis Although that second goal of his might well have killed off any Spanish hopes of getting anything from this game. Francis off and Cunningham on. Ten minutes left. Keegan with the free kick and uh, a goal kick for Spain. Spain coming forward once more. Here's Danny again, their captain. Played in, this time uh, onside. Satrustegui. And Shilton just gathering that ball as Carrasca came in. And in one movement, throws the ball out for Koppel. Cunningham's up ahead of him. Flicked on for Laurie Cunningham. And uh, is that a call? Yes, it's a corner for England. Phil Neal with the cross towards Kevin Keegan. Koppel diving in there again. Cunningham getting in there as well and winning the ball. 
Good challenge by Laurie Cunningham. Keegan in for Koppel. And it's a corner. And Phil Neal is the one injured on the far side. And I would say that with eight minutes to go, England manager Ron Greenwood we would be more than happy to come away now with 11 unscathed players because some of this Spanish tackling really has become quite diabolical. Cunningham now with a corner though. Hit with the outside of the boot and a fist away by Arconada. Wilkins trying to get it back in there. A great jump by Keegan but an offside flag is up on the far side. A free kick to Spain. Big Migueli to Aquiaga. Migueli again. Cordelio, Carrasca, played in for Uria. But again, poor control and very, very quick awareness by Dave Watson. And they're going to bring Phil Neal off. Diego. Migueli. Carrasca on the far side. Carrasca. Koppel sticking with him well. But Carrasca's got past him, but uh, not past Shilton. And England are going to make another substitution. It's Phil Neal who won't be coming back on and Emlyn Hughes who will come on for the last few minutes of the game. Urquiaga, Migueli, Emlyn Hughes waiting to come on. familiar figure of Emlyn Hughes is on for Phil Neal Keegan for England well there was so much talk about him a few months ago possibly joining Barcelona I know he wanted to play particularly well here tonight he's he's led England well as usual with terrific enthusiasm and England still standing 2-0 to the good with about five minutes to go Cordelio, Calarisi, the first touch for Emlyn Hughes. Wilkins to Cunningham. There's Laurie Cunningham. Oh, that's no problem, that's a goal kick. Luis Asola. Hey, Mark. How are you? Carrasca. Danny's header. And Mills will get this one away. Wilkins. Hughes. Keegan. Tackler again went directly to him. What a lovely little chip in there, but not quite good enough for Woodcock. Deliberately obstructing Keegan as he ran there. Migueli for Spain. Olmo. Played here for Diego. Carrasca. Turn in well and turn over well. Good play by Shilton from Satchel Steguis. Uh, nice little turn by the byline there. And a corner for Spain with just about three minutes to go.
And the drummer is back with us as Danny tries the header. Tipped away again by Peter Shilton. The replay this time, Danny's header. Good at agile keeping again by Shilton. As Carrasca takes another corner for Spain, England still leading 2-0. Phil Thompson up there, Dave Watson up there, but it will be turned back by Gordelia. It was uh, Phil Thompson again, hooking that one away. And so much better for England's morale and prestige if they can get away without conceding a goal here. And the great psychological advantage of knowing that they have to face Spain in Naples, being drawn in the same group as the Spaniards in the European Championship in Italy this summer. It'll do wonders for England to win this game, there's no question of that, and they've won it if indeed that is the way it's going to be with about three minutes to go. They've won it with a lot of style. And again, no problems for Shilton and a goal kick. From Olmo. Well, he's not able to drum up a lot of enthusiasm from the Spanish crowd at the moment. Koppel. Not far from being man of the match, that fella. Hughes. The long ball forward. Keegan onside. His marker is right with him but Keegan this time has slipped him looking for the little cross coming in and Kennedy coming in on the far side and that's so easily could have been number three a great run again by Keegan but now some great running by Spain finding Danny Urquiaga a little chip in there but that should be Kennedy's ball he couldn't quite get to it and Danny could Blocked, though, first off by Thompson. Cordelia with a shot. Again a block. They claimed handball. The referee didn't want to know, and the ball finds its way out again to Keegan. And the Spanish crowd now drifting away with England leading 2-0. Keegan's long, long cross. No trouble there for Akunada with about a minute to go. Uria man who's Mark Keegan Diego and Watson quick on the challenge a free kick for Spain with Satru Stegui taking it quickly and the fullback just about keeping it in as you can see one, one minute to go on the clock there England leading 2-0 and all the England defenders line up to get that one away And the ball out of play, and England throw. I remember watching England uh, beat Spain in Madrid. I think it was in 1965. And I think it was the first time Sir Alf Ramsey played a 4-3-3 formation. And they won well and won with style. And that really was the start of something big leading to 1966. And I must say, looking at England tonight, you get the rumblings that something big is about to happen to this England side again really play with a lot of style and skill here against Spain tonight and really have they been in trouble leading two goals to nil the last seconds of the game but now just got to withhold a little bit of pressure there Shilton nicely behind that one though and finding Emlyn Hughes Woodcock in the first half Francis in the second half England have won this match. No, the referee's still looking at his watch. I thought that was a blast on the whistle. Now it is. England have won by two goals to nil. By Tony Woodcock in the first half. By Trevor Francis in the second. A really good sound and at times very skillful performance by England. One they should really be pleased with. And we should now, I think, get the reaction of England manager Ron Greenwood.
they scored all the four goals for the other side. Oh, probably the Young English, I would think. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. If I could follow on Brian. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay. 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 If you like, we'll all try and do two. How long will you be now? About three minutes. Shall I knock Just two minutes while you're waiting? No, I mean, I mean we'll be three minutes talking, and then, yes. you, then it's all yours. Yes, and, it, and they've got such a rush back there that we need to we need to get going on this. Yeah, 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 yeah. <coughs> well, that was pleasing. Yeah, it was nice, wasn't it? There some good things, wasn't yeah. there? Probably we should have scored before. We did score, really. Yes. yes. Front men did so well as well. Little Steve oh, Coppola. Yeah. I mean, the, the second goal was delightful, yeah. wasn't it? Really? And it came out of defence so quickly, didn't it? Very similar to the uh, Northern Ireland right. goal when uh, yes. Wilkins knocked terrific it in for Trevor before. Yeah. He hit it on the same angle, actually, across the keeper. He did terrific, Steve, like the battle oh. for it, yes? yeah. I mean, most people have given that one up. No, he did. He battled for it. Yeah. got it just a quick. We'll do a run, what, yes. two minutes or so? Yes. And then we'll do... Um, Trevor after that and then yes. come back after right. that. Okay, they're rolling okay. in London. Okay, they're rolling in London. We're going, okay. Sorry? Level. Level. What are you yes, go? What are you go? <laughs> go on, you first. <laughs> <laughs> That's good enough, is it? <laughs> okay. Don't talk on this from now on, okay? okay. All right, we're going. Are they rolling in London? May go a fraction more. We're all looking at Keith, and Keith's looking at us. And nobody's getting a message. Are you ready, London? Can you tell Keith if you're ready, and we'll. We are. So, what is your reaction to that, Ron? Well, we're delighted to come away and play in in a, a foreign country like this against Spain. And after all, they're one of the eight teams in uh, in Europe, uh, the Nations Cup in Italy. So we're delighted with the results. Perhaps somebody might say at long last we've beaten somebody. I don't know. What was most pleasing to you about it, though? Uh, the the, the over, overall performance, really, because it, even before we scored, I felt that we had some great chances and we were creating chances. And to come away and do that in, in a foreign country, as I've already said, a, away from home, that, that takes some doing. And the lads were tremendous. The players themselves enjoyed it, and above all else, I think it showed in their play. And the second goal was, was copybook, wasn't it, really? Yes, I mean, most people would have given that one as going out in any case on the far side, but Steve Koppel battled for it and, and put in a beautiful pass for France. Well, that's Steve isn't it? He never gives up. But it was very similar to the Northern Ireland goal when Ray Wilkins got a ball out from the defence very quickly, crossed it early and, and Trevor's hit it in on the turn, just as he did tonight. I thought the two front people, Trevor and Tony Woodcock up front, they took a lot of stick, you know, but I thought they were tremendous, both in character and football. I was going to say, there, there are a lot of bruises there tonight, I would think, as well. Yes, but as I said before we went out, let's show a lot of discipline, don't let's succumb to that type of thing. And I think we, the only way to punish that is to score goals against them, and we did that tonight, so yes. I was pleased. There was no retaliation at all? No, there wasn't, and, and that's, that's what I mean. Footballers have to have character, and they showed a lot of character out there tonight. Where does that lead you now on the road to Italy, do you think, Ron? Well, uh, a long way away yet, doesn't it, really, because we've got to play Argentina and anything can happen. One hopes that obviously all the players are still available, because injury-wise, I mean, you know, and that's important. And we just hope that the squad's available next time and we'll all be there. I but, mean, but this is, is not a team, you know, no. this is a squad, as I've always said. But is a shape beginning to form very much in your mind? I think so, yes. But again, it's availability of players. Possibly after the Argentinian game, we may not have uh, Kevin and Tony and Laurie for the home championship, so the Argentinian game is the last one, really, that we can have a look at. But a good one tonight, anyhow. Well, yes, I hope everybody at home enjoyed it. We certainly did here. I'm sure they did, Ron. Well done. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank you. That's okay. That's lovely, Ron. Thanks a lot for that. Now, I've got to do just an end to the programme, haven't I, now, very quickly? Yeah, well, let's do the, We said we'd do the end of the programme first, the didn't program we? Now. Okay, if you're still rolling, still rolling in Houston. Well, just tell them this is the end of the programme. So the final good night tonight comes from Barcelona, where England have scored a really excellent performance against Spain, winning by two goals to nil. Tony Woodcock in the first half, a brilliant one by Trevor Francis in the second. I hope very much you've enjoyed it. And now from Spain, good night to you all. Again. Once more. Encore.
Roy's Spanish is brilliant, I tell you. <laughs> so the final good night comes from Spain, where England have scored a really excellent 2-0 victory against Spain with goals by Tony Woodcock in the first half and a really brilliant... Do you mind, please? Thank you. So the final good night tonight comes from Barcelona, where England have scored a really excellent victory over Spain with a goal by Tony Woodcock in the first half and a really brilliant one in the second half by Trevor Francis. I hope very much you've enjoyed it at home. I'm sure you have. And now from all of us here, it's good night. What is the problem? What is the problem? Well, turn to keep it steady, for Christ's sake. <coughs> Doing it again, these bloody kids. <laughs> Three strands outside, Patrick, and four that. So the final good night tonight comes from Spain, where England have scored a really excellent two-goal victory against Spain with one by Tony Woodcock in the first half and a really brilliant goal by Trevor Francis in the second. I'm sure you've enjoyed it at home, and now from all of us here in Barcelona, it's good night. I shall only do a minute with Trevor. It's just about his goal, about his dream, and about uh, the punishment he took. I was I was backtracking, yeah. and maybe by chance the backtracks weren't uh, that far off it. You see. Well, hopefully they didn't lift up the hour. I did say that they lift up the hour, and uh, we might get away with it. But never mind, never mind. Can't win them all. No, 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 no. Can't win them all. No, no. There's one, the one that matters. Uh, 
I will look, I'll, I'll nip inside and see if I can chase them up. Alright, I'll go chase them up first. I'll go and see how they're doing. Right? If they come up that side, we go. Oh, he's oh, perfect. Yeah. Well done. We're okay. Yep. Right, you come the other side, would you? How was that cipher on? So you were, so you were. Has it got, has it got sweat on it? Yeah. <laughs> you kicked as well. Yes. Stand marked. <laughs> okay. Okay. Only. Okay. Let's get going as quickly as we can to help the lads. Are they rolling in Houston, Keith? When you're talking to Mike Brown, you don't go too much off Mike. Yeah, sure. It's been quite a week for you. Uh, has it? I was just trying to think what's happened. <laughs> yes, it's gone well. Yeah. Okay. 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 A really satisfying night for you, capped by a truly brilliant goal, Trevor. Um, yes, I was a bit disappointed first half. First half, I had two reasonable chances. In those kind of positions, you try and get them on target, and I felt that the keeper made two good saves. Uh, I was talking to Larry Cunningham before the game, and he said that he was quite a good goalkeeper. But um, yes, I was really pleased with that second goal. Tell us about it, because Stevie Coppel did marvels, didn't he, in the first place? He must take a lot of the credit, that's right. Um, I remember Steve picking up on the right wing position, and I was in inside left, and um, I thought if, I, if he can knock it early, uh, but it had to be a great ball, and it was a good ball. I took it in my stride, uh, one touch, and in the back of the net, uh, I like to see it on television. Yeah, well, you'll see that many times, I'm sure. But I gather that you and Tony, or Tony Woodcock, had a dream. Well, not so much a dream, but uh, more of a prediction. Uh, we roomed together, and before the game in Belfast, uh, he predicted we'd both get two each. So I said to him there uh, this afternoon, what do you think for tonight, Tom? And he said, uh, one each tonight. Uh, very good dream, yes. Very lovely. Trevor, congratulations. Thanks a lot. Pleasure. Well done. Terrific. Coming through, Brian. Yes. Yes. Okay. 